It's so early in the morning, holy cow. I don't even wake up this early for hunting. But by golly, we making it to the old airport. We're gonna get some things done. I got a uh, little Mountain Ops blaze shot. Get a little energy shot for the road so that I don't fall asleep driving a three quarter ton diesel down the interstate. That'd be probably a bad idea, huh? No matter what, I am gonna find myself at a fuel station with this hog. It's all right though. You need gas to get down the road, son. I am so, I'm tired. Uh. <laughs> Can I just be in Salt Lake City now? Just pulled up to the airport. Well, the airport economy parking, that is. I'm trying to figure out where the heck the little kiosk is to stand and wait for the shuttle, but I assume it's here. Yeah, you're right there. Where are you going? <laughs> Where's. I want to get up on that. Hold on. Oh, he's stopping. He's stopping. He heard me. Good to go. Just hopped off the shuttle. We're here. Delta Airlines. For the most part, I think I got here in a pretty decent time. Um, I'm like a good solid hour and a half early, which is great. I hate being late for flights. That's like a huge pet peeve of mine. Standing in line, knowing that that plane is about to depart and you are absolutely screwed if you're not on it is like the worst feeling in the world. So glad I got here early. Gonna go uh, through security, get everything checked. And then, oh yeah, see there's not even that big of a line. Look at that. We're good to go. Walked outside, I see Chandler. Dude, this thing's like a redneck limousine. Woo! Bro, this is like a redneck limousine, son. <laughs> I just say your chariot has arrived, man. Now look, buddy, Holy yo. Holy cow. That was a flight, man. Dude. Worst turbulence I've ever experienced. Really? It was sketchy. Yeah. But honestly, like, it's such a quick flight for me. It's only like two hours. So I can sleep through basically the whole time. Just got to Chandler's place. Appreciate your hospitality, buddy. You are awesome. Um, we're gonna go grab some food, grab a little bit of breakfast, and then we'll head down to the show. And uh, yeah, we'll see you there. All right, y'all, we made it to the Hunt Expo here at the Mountain Ops booth, checking out Eric's bull from Utah, which is an absolute stud. A big double tine right there. And then also, he killed this freaking thing in Idaho. 
we, literally, we watched him drop in his traps. Talking bases. Don't say thanks to you got the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> He's over there. He's over there. Oh, there he is. Is that him right there? <laughs> oh, he got me confused with that other bald guy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a good time at the expo. We got how many days to go? Four? Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's a long days, time, but we're going to have fun. We're going to go check out uh, Chad's booth, Fins and Feathers, see what he's up to. But first, got to grab another battery. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> okay. I don't know if that's going to happen soon, yeah. but... Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> What's up, dude? It's a heck of a buck. We call that buck Cannon Jack. Cannon Jack. Chad and I have been on a mission to get tan and jacked. And I'm not it's doing so good. It's bulking season. Dude, we're so white. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where you're going to do it your next show? Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, we're just cruising around, checking out some booths, checking out Chad's booth. He's got a sweet setup here. He's got a lot of his bucks displayed. Yeah, <laughs> And then this buck that he's holding right here, that's a buck that he killed in Utah last year. Freaking stud of a buck. Um, but yeah, he's got a couple of giveaways and stuff going on here, so it's pretty sweet. The booth is popping. So Hush is giving this beast away. That would be a dang old hunting rig for just about anybody right there. All right, y'all, I'm here at the King's Camo booth. I'm gonna be showing you guys the system that I'm gonna be running this spring for turkey season, um, as well as through the fall, I'm gonna be running this entire system in Realtree Edge. So to start out with, they run like the XKG series as their um, high-end pant top, um, they've got merino wool base layer, um, really, really, really technical gear, and they print it in Realtree Edge, which is my favorite thing. Um, they also have some solid colors, like this one right here, and this one right here. This is their Realtree Edge pattern, and this is on the King's XKG Ridge pant, a little bit lighter weight pant. Got some pockets on the sides here. If you're ever keeping like a pocket knife and you ever dealt with any of your pants ripping because you stick a pocket knife down here and it tears that, tears that pocket out, you don't deal with that anymore. They've got really thick, big belt loops. Um, and they've added them on the back too. These pants, I tried these on at the show here about half hour ago and they're by far the most comfortable pants I have ever worn in a hunting pant um, and in any pant in general but um, so yeah this is a little bit lighter weight this is a little bit heavier weight as you can see right here these are called the XKG preacher pant and these ones have got built-in knee pads that are removable so if you don't want to run knee pads you can reach up in there there's a little slot that you can just pull that knee pad out run the pant just like this without a knee pad um, and what I would use that for, I'd probably keep the knee pads in during turkey season just because you might be crawling around a lot, trying to be quiet, trying to move between like tree to tree, whatever you're doing. Um, and I would also run those knee pads during uh, antelope. So going out on a western antelope hunt, maybe a western mule deer hunt, I would wear those knee pads and uh, just to kind of save yourself a little bit in the rocks, save yourself in the uh, cactus and stuff like that. So, um, but otherwise, whitetail hunting and stuff, probably just take those knee pads out, run the pants as they are. As you can see, they're fitted, which is huge for me. I love a fitted pant. I can't stand bulky pants. I can't stand heavy pants that don't breathe. Got lightweight material. 
they've got these systems figured out straight up. Also, they have their merino wool base layers, which are these base layers here. And they'll have all of that in Realtree Edge as well. They've got some new merino wool coming out. Um, again, their pant system, legit, solid colors. And then over here on this wall, they've got, take this aside, they've got their system that, this is part of the XKG series, but they've got a full puffy system that they've got the, uh, they've got the vest and they've got the full puffy with sleeves. And then you throw on either your outer shell, which would be like this. You got an outer shell here. And that's kind of to tie in the system. They also have like a hoodie. He won't come down from 45. With a fitted hood, which is, I like that. I like that a lot, that it's got a fitted hood. Again, all of these, at the show, they don't have them in Realtree Edge, but they have all of these available in Realtree Edge, which is what I'll be wearing. What is this stuff? Um, I'm super stoked. This entire system is one of the most high quality, top-notch systems I've ever seen, especially in Realtree. And uh, I'm super stoked to run this system. It's, it's, it's gonna be a good year, because quality gear, quality camouflage, I'm all about it. And uh, I'm excited to run it. But yeah, like I said, guys, I'll give you feedback throughout the year. Just stay glued to the page, stay glued to the Instagram and the social medias and stuff, and I'll keep y'all all up to date with this gear. Um, it's gonna be sweet, I'm excited. All right, guys, there is obviously a lot more to see at this show, but I'm gonna end this video here because it's been going on a little while. I appreciate y'all watching, and uh, make sure to smash that subscribe button, give this video a like. Thanks, guys, we'll talk to you next time.